Meet the Reverend Samuel Wesley, the father of the fathers of Methodism, John and Charles Wesley. Born in 1662, Samuel Wesley's England had just gone through civil wars and come into a restored monarchy. As bishops were reinstated to Parliament, a strict Anglican orthodoxy was established, creating a polarity among the people. Graduating from Oxford University in 1688, Samuel Wesley was ordained as a clergyman in the Anglican Church. In 1697, Reverend Samuel and his wife Susanna moved to the small town of Epworth to pastor St. Andrew's Church, where they raised their ten children. Epworth residents were strongly opposed to anyone who was monarchical, conservative, or academic. Pastor Samuel was all three. Epworth residents did everything they could to drive the Wesleys out of town damaging crops and livestock, and refusing to pay tithes. A fire burned down the parsonage where the Wesleys lived, rumored to have been started by area residents. A prolific writer, Samuel Wesley's longing to become a respected author was never realized. Unfortunately, he was best known for leaving many debts to his family after his death in 1735. History shows he wasn't an exemplary father, but undoubtedly, Reverend Samuel Wesley had great influence on his children. In one of the letters he sent to his son John, Reverend Samuel shows his pride and joy by congratulating John on being elected a fellow of Lincoln College in Oxford. Later, when John Wesley visited Epworth, he preached using his father's grave as a platform, perhaps honoring his memory. Samuel and Susanna may never have imagined the impact their sons John and Charles would have on the 18th century, but they clearly encouraged them to seek God, giving them tools that would revolutionize the Christian world to this day and in the days to come.